there's a, a technical point of view. What I did is I contacted these scientists from the University of California, Berkeley, California, and they gave me data from the spacecraft that recorded magnetar flares. With that technical data, I obtained all the pitches, all the notes in the in the piece, and then I jammed over them, and uh, that's how I constructed the solo part. And the other part of the answer would be, magnetar for me sounds as a really powerful superhero, so I wanted to make that sound into into the piece. So, for instance, at the beginning of the first movement, the data they gave me have this noise, background noise from space. So I used this trick, this kind of stuff, to, to make it sound as music comes from uh, uh, cosmic noise and goes back to that. So that's one example. And also, the, the ending of the first movement has the shape of the graph of the magnetar flare, which explodes and then dies out. But as it, it's spinning, it dies out with a kind of sine curve wave. So that's the way the ending of the first movement uh, is constructed, a little bit like a magnetar flare. Both my parents are scientists. My mother is a chemist and my father is a physicist. So I wanted to be a scientist before discovering an electric guitar. So this is my way of relating with, with my family and with other interests. Thank you.